everyone. Uh, my name is Kirk Latimer. My name is Gabriel Jerome. And together we are known as Kinetic Effect. Now, most people have a fear of failure. But if we let fear prevent us from taking necessary risks in our lives, we miss out on the opportunity to live our best lives. In fact, one of the greatest philosophers of our time, Mike Tyson, once said <laughs> that in order to succeed greatly, you need to be prepared to fail greatly. And if you can't do both, then you got a problem. When I was 18 years old, I was diagnosed with stage 3B testicular cancer. By the time they found it, it had spread throughout my entire body. During my three-year battle with cancer, I underwent numerous surgeries that left me not only scarred, but also feeling like a failure, feeling like I was at my lowest, because I had moments where I couldn't stand on my own, moments where I could not sit up without asking for help, moments where I couldn't even eat without the assistance of someone else. But they taught me some of the greatest life lessons, not just about my own self, but about how to truly succeed in life. And that's what we're here to talk about. As a matter of fact, um, I am no stranger to failure either. I'm married, so I get to feel like that a little bit each day. <laughs> yeah, and you know, the only reason why you're laughing and clapping is because you know it's damn true. <laughs> <laughs> The reality is, is we all go through failures. Every single person in this room has experienced failure in their life. Especially you. <laughs> he goes, yep. <laughs> the question you have to ask yourself, though, is when you get knocked down, when you're facing that failure, are you going to stay down? Or are you going to get back up on your feet? If, if you, you haven't, haven't failed, failed in life, life you, you haven't, haven't lived. lived. Because failure tells us that we've taken a risk. That we're still challenging our own limitations. It's only when we cross the boundary of our comfort zone that we begin to open the lid of who we are. And rid yourself of the box that everyone tells you to think outside of. And, and history, history, history favors, favors the risk takers. takers. Because only those who risk going too far can find out how far we can actually go. You'll never read about anyone throughout history who successfully inspired change. Because they followed the crowd. Because they played it safe. Because, because they, they cared too much about what other people thought about them. Remember that you your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. It's only when you jump blindly from your nest that you can experience the act of flying. You just have to be willing to spread your wings and trust that you're meant to sort of heights you never thought possible from the comfort of your fear. Don't allow the things that scare you to keep you grounded. Instead, become like the Wright brothers after their first crash and be willing to collide into the dirt. To turn the toughest moments of your life into the burst of wind, you need to get you airborne. So that one day you can see what the bottom looks like from the clouds. And even though you know your eyes can't see past the horizon, it doesn't mean that the world ends at the sun. Sunset. They won't teach you this in school. You can't sign up for failure 101, only audit and observe, so when you graduate, you, you can, can navigate, navigate the, the real world. world. The place where 99% of the things you will experience aren't, aren't taught. taught. The place where you will find that the rules and lessons you learned in school don't, don't apply. apply. Because in school, the most successful students are the people who make the fewest mistakes. But in life, the most successful professionals are the people who learn to turn the mistakes into masterpieces. masterpieces. Artists, Artists who have discovered that you can't really figure out how something works until you break it apart. apart. And they'll probably call you crazy for your beliefs because that's what passion inspires. It inspires the outrageous. The wild. And it turns the impossible into, into the, the incredible, incredible. Like cell phones and spaceships. Or sharing parts of yourself with complete strangers and in the process, becoming, becoming friends. friends. That's what happens when you take risks. Sometimes you create amazing things that change the way we live, but often we fail. fail. You have to, because mistakes are a part of the learning process. Success and failure, they, they hold hands. hands. You just have to be willing to jump off the deep end. Because pearls don't lie on the seashore. If you want one, you have to dive to the bottom and take it. It's only when you dig deep that you can plant the seeds that will grow into something beautiful. And we'll guarantee that when you wake up in the morning, you, you still, still feel alive. alive. It doesn't matter where you start. It doesn't matter where you end. What, what matters, matters most is what you do in between. The steps it took you to get to wherever you are. And the times you got back up after you fell. So, so dust, dust yourself, yourself off. Start chasing your dreams. And start living a life that will leave you with a smile on your face. And, and a strong, strong heartbeat in your chest. And start that life today. Start by taking a risk. Start by learning from your failures. And start to appreciate the scars you have that remind you that, that you lived a life worth living. living. Thank you.